Oh, this is some new technology that uh, I haven't used uh, here at uh, YouTube. I, I had hoped uh, at this time that I could uh, share with you a telephone conversation that Michael Gerber uh, is having uh, with the rest of the world. And uh, Michael is uh, launching, celebrating uh, his newest book. Uh, it's a limited edition book of which I uh, committed to buy a copy of it uh, about uh, three months ago. And it's, um, it's just being published now. Uh, it's uh, an update, if you will, to, to Michael's, one of his main themes is the E-Myth, E-Myth Revisited, E-Myth Enterprise. Uh, these were books that um, really uh, set Michael apart uh, from uh, the rest of the folks. And, and he's been quoted so many times since he's written these books by people who use uh, expressions that... Uh, that Michael created. I had the very uh, wonderful pleasure, uh, probably one of the three uh, finest business moments that I've spent in my lifetime. Uh, two Decembers ago, I went out to um, San Diego, Carlsbad actually, Carlsbad, California, and I spent almost three days in Michael Gerber's dream room, in the dream room. <clears throat> Actually, the dream room that I went to was his 54th or 55th, I believe, maybe 58th, but it was his last one uh, as an individual, uh, and he was going to go on uh, and, and have other folks do in the dream room seminar. But it was, uh, it was a, a, a great, great experience, and I had a, a, a chance to, uh, to interact with Michael. As a matter of fact, on my old iPhone, which I hope the pictures have been downloaded to my Mac, a long while, well, two, two years ago, um, actually that iPhone went to uh, went to Rome, and I think the files got deleted or something. I don't know. Well, well, I'll try to find a picture of Michael, so the next time I come back, I can I can uh, share it with you. Uh, the the book and Michael did a really really wonderful, thoughtful thing for me. Uh, it was the New Year's Eve before that December, so inside the same 12 months, New Year's Eve, uh, Michael so graciously gave an hour of his time to me, and I did an interview with Michael, New Year's Eve, and it was a one, it was actually the very first broadcast that I did at our old internet TV station. Uh, it was um, OurSmallBusinessTV.com. There's over a thousand hours of recorded broadcasts uh, at uh, OurSmallBusinessTV.com. I don't even know if it as such exists because now we have DavidsBarter.tv and uh, we will be doing uh, our YouTubes and our live broadcasts at stickham.com. All the various things that we'll do, we'll, we'll do some of them live. Actually, our big live time is uh, Sunday mornings, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. If you go to stickham.com forward slash group forward slash David's Barter, you'll actually uh, get into our, uh, have an opportunity to get into our uh, video live video chat room. So you can Skype us, you can live video chat. Uh, a lot of ways that we're going to take uh, share, share the message with you. When I, uh, in the dream room, and I was given, uh, we were given pads. Uh, I'll get them. Uh, where we went into our dream room and we, we wrote down our ideas and then we went through an exercise and these ideas became new ideas and it was a wonderful experience and uh, I, I will share that with you when I find my uh, official in the dream room pad. Oh, here they are. There's a in the dream room pad. Uh, I can go 
back and look at notes of things that I was actually putting together for David's Barter Community uh, in the dream room. The, the dream of entrepreneurship, that's where it all gets started. If you are an entrepreneur by the very nature of your being, uh, you are a dreamer and you, you dream about things and then you uh, think about those things and, and, and think if they can really happen. And if they can't happen, how, you, how are you going to make it happen? What steps do you need to take? So you start to develop your ideas. Uh, and then, of course, unless you have very, very deep pockets, your ideas have to uh, have some cash flow to them so that you can continue to expand your ideas. Starting a business is, is uh, something that, uh, that I, I really enjoyed talking to Michael about. and uh, He tells the story that he actually started his business uh, by walking into a McDonald's, not necessarily to eat, but to study the system the system that McDonald's had developed so that uh, they would just replicate that system from store to store. Uh, and that's how they do it as a company. And he was, he was intrigued with that concept of systems. So he, he went back and, and started to write about a system uh, for uh, entrepreneurs and, and small business folks and, and, and a dream. And, uh, New Year's Eve two years ago, it'll be three years, it's coming New Year's Eve, uh, the purpose of our interview was to talk about Michael's book, The Most Successful Small Business in the World, The Ten Principles. The world's number one small business guru. By, uh, I asked Michael in that er interview if um, he would mentor me uh, in becoming the world's number two small business guru. He kind of laughed, but uh, it was after we did this interview that I went to the dreaming room, and in fact, we had you know, those kind of discussions. But the one principle that, that hits home, well, here's my, uh, this is in front of me. There were about uh, 55 other people in the room at the same time I was, and uh, it's just a, a wonderful, wonderful experience. But Michael's book, uh, the, the one principle, they're all very, very important, but the one that uh, has touched me the hardest, and it's amazing, is his rule of 10,000. Uh, I hear Michael talking right now. I had hoped to um, share this conversation with you. We have some... Uh, audio tapes of Michael reading his books that we're going to share in the future. Uh, they're supposed to be, the, the sound on, on this recording is very, very bad, uh, and so you couldn't hear it. Uh, they said they're going to send us a, a full recording, but at any rate, we'll, we'll, we'll have an opportunity to uh, interact with Michael, if not in person, with, uh, I actually, uh, I told you, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for delivery of my book. Um, and hopefully Michael will have signed the book. If not, I will ask him. Oh, I thought it was, which one is the rule of 10,000? The rule of 10,000 simply says, very simply says, oh, a small business built rightly can grow 10,000 times its current size. That number 10,000 has been intriguing to me. And uh, as you know, we are making, in David's Barter community, 10,000 landing pages available, optimized landing pages, very Googleized landing pages, as, as my landing page is. We'll share with you why mine is. You know, another YouTube coming very, very soon. Uh, uh, there were some changes that needed to be made to the page, to the... To, um, to, uh, to the landing page, and as soon as those are made, I will share uh, that page with you. It'll be any any moment now, really. But we are looking. Uh, we 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 want to connect with ten thousand uh, entrepreneurs who want to start a business, 
and uh, there will be a there's a they're charter members they're charter lifetime members for this case charter lifetime members to the Small Biz David Foundation. The Small Biz David Foundation is dedicated to starting new businesses, providing whatever resources we have in the community to help new businesses get started. New, new businesses need to get started now more so in any of the last 41 years uh, that I have been uh, in small business. If uh, we need new jobs to be created and existing small businesses uh, are not creating new jobs, uh, but new businesses will create new jobs. The job, <coughs> excuse me, number one being that of you, the entrepreneur, starting the business with the dream, building the business. So I, I do want to share with Michael uh, as soon as possible, as soon as he and I can connect, how important uh, his rule of 10,000 uh, has been to me. There's other other instances that I'll share with you too. So we're going to look at these books, uh, the books where I have recordings. Uh, we'll share in the words of Michael. We'll let him read from the book. Then we'll stop and we'll comment. He's a uh, uh, Michael is uh, one of the reasons all these things are hitting this year, 2012. Uh, Michael is uh, 75 years old this year, and. Uh, all of these things are happening uh, in his uh, 75th year. We, uh, we, we, we congratulate Michael and we, we wish him uh, best wishes of, of much health, uh, much happiness, much prosperity. His wife, Liz Dulia, is a, Liz Dulia is a wonderful, wonderful woman who runs his companies while Michael is off uh, doing the dreaming and we had a lot of fun uh, when we were out in uh, Carlsbad. Uh, it's important, and as I get the new book, uh, maybe I can actually ask Michael to read from the book. That's what I'll do. I'll ask him to read from the book uh, and uh, then share his insights, and we'll have that kind of dialogue going. Michael, thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, being one of my two major business mentors, your, your inspiration, your knowledge, your, your, your way that you, you, you find and search for uh, the entrepreneur within is, has been very, very impactful uh, to my thinking, and, uh, and I thank you for that.